today I thought it would be quite fun to make a tier list of uh, Bruno Catala's best games ever because, as I said many times, he's my favorite designer. Uh, why do I like his games? First of all, I think they are gorgeous games. Most of them are very, very pretty. Secondly, they always have very little rules, but they're always really deep strategically in my opinion. So he's made many many games so the list is very long and I'm not gonna pretend I've played all the games because that would be an absolute lie. I'm just gonna rate the ones that have I have played and the ones that know how to play because I like to watch a lot of playthrough videos to get a better idea of if I would like the games or not. Ah, so let's get started. Ah, the first game I've played is definitely Seven Wonders Duel. All these games are in alphabetical order. Seven Wonders Duel, I think, is S tier. Uh, I think it's a great two-player game, uh, a nice engine builder, and yeah, very deserving of S tier. Abyss is better than Seven Wonders Duel. <laughs> it's my favorite game ever. I love the push your luck element of the game. It's very fun. The game is beautiful. The guy looks a bit scary, but yeah, best game ever. Is everything just going to be an S tier? No, 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 no. It's just that we're starting strong, that's all. <laughs> Cleopatra and the Society of Architects. I have never played this game, but I've watched actually a few videos of how to play the game, and I think I would absolutely love it. The game is gorgeous, first of all. Uh, like, so, such a nice table presence, like this, the temple with all the statues and stuff. And you're trying to build basically the best temple to the Queen Cleopatra. I love the mechanism of uh, corruption in the game and the person that is the most corrupt at the end of the game completely loses the game, which is great. So that I really like. Conan, I have not played. I've watched a two hour playthrough of this game and I, I'm sorry, but <laughs> it felt very boring to me. I think it's very controversial. I know it's highly praised and highly regarded, but uh, it's not my kind of game. Conspiracy, I really like based on the Abyss universe. I mean, actually it's, I'm pretty sure it's called Conspiracy Abyss universe. I think maybe B, it's a uh, lighter version of uh, Abyss. There's obviously pearls and lords and locations as well, but you're trying to build a little pyramid of cards and score the most points out of this. So very quick paced game, nice little filler. The solo is okay, but very frustrating in my opinion, but it's okay. <laughs> no biggie. Ah, uh, Cyclad. Cyclades? <laughs> Sorry, I've always called it Cyclad. Never played. I know I would love it. Uh, it's out of print and it's so expensive now. Uh, I think you would love it too. Uh, basically, you are trying to be the first one to get to build four metropoles on the island and how to do that you are bidding on the favors of gods so there's auction bidding it's so great uh, that uh, I think if I was to play it it would be probably a steer but I've not played it but I know I would love it so much dice stars little roll and write one what to say I just love roll and write so probably something like that oh my god I don't know there uh, um, it might change later but we'll see we'll see I love roll and writes B but B is good! Uh, five Tribes. Well, Five Tribes is an easy A or S. Well, I think for now, S. Uh, it might change later, but we'll see. Yeah, it's the first uh, medium heavy game I've ever played. I fell in love with the game and that made me fall in love with more medium heavy games. So yeah, beautiful game, uh, many ways to score points. Imaginarium, I've played it once, I think. Once or twice? It was with you, I think it was once. I really liked it, but you didn't, so we never played ever again. I think maybe... Maybe something like that. I know it's going to be controversial, but I felt like I was playing It's a Wonderful World <laughs> because there's like, uh, you, you're building your engine and then you're recycling cards. I like how you select your actions. There, there's like a, some kind of clock thing. I'm not really sure how they call that. And you select two actions. And yeah, very cool game. Beautiful as well. Very wacky, weird art. Like, for example, the cover is an elephant with a pig that is flying with wings. So yeah. Uh, next is Insert Gamma. We discovered recently and I was sure that Sam would love it. So that's why I wanted him to try. I... I think it was very good, but I am not a fan of abstract strategy, like pure abstract strategy. It's not my kind of thing. So probably for, for me, it's C. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
I think it's really good. It's really clever. You are trying to do like five in a row, a bit like Connect 5. It's not Connect 4, it's Connect 5. But if you put your your own token between uh, two of your opponent's tokens, then the, the, the adjacent one turn into your color. So very, very strategic, very nice, very clever, but not my kind of game. It's like the opposite of Go. Yeah, kind of. I, I can see that. Well, Go is obviously more deep, but you know. Ishtar. Uh, at the moment, I put it behind you, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's going to overtake it. I really like this game. It's a beautiful game where you are a gardener uh, planting like flowers and trees in the desert and you're trying to collect points in many different ways. Like there's obviously the flowers that are straight points, there's the trees and there's like a little skill tree on your, I mean, your personal board and you can invest uh, some gems in some different areas. Like maybe you're going to score more on this this part of the game or this other aspect and so on. Very clever game as well, very beautiful and I really, really enjoy it. I wish I could play more often. King Domino Origins. Well, maybe we're gonna rate King Domino first because that's the base one. I mean, the OG boy. <laughs> King Domino, I adore. I think probably A. A or S, I'm not sure yet. But King Domino is an excellent game. I love the way you score points. It's the multiplications. I think it's so simple. You can teach it to anyone and it's very strategic too. So I love it. Very, very good game. King Domino Origins. I really like it too actually it's a bit like king domino but you have other things added to it so there's resource management and there is also an, a new way to produce crowns in this game it's fires but i really like it i think maybe just right after king domino for, for now i think it's better you prefer... personally i think it's better really yeah. i thought you would prefer the base one lumen uh it's based on trek 12 that we will see later on uh, it's a two-player roll and ride game that is also mixed with area control. I think I really liked it, uh, but I thought it was a bit too long. It's illustrated by my favorite artist, Vincent Dutre. So I think maybe maybe a slightly bit better than the Imaginarium. No, you didn't like it. It's a very smart concept, but I think yeah. the execution is quite poor. Oh, really? What what didn't you like? How limited you feel with moving your troops around. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why it's not like A, but I think it was very clever. Uh, I, I did enjoy it. Micropolis. This game I really like, but I don't know. I think I think I'm gonna put it at the beginning of B for now. Micropolis, a nice two to six play game where you are drafting tiles and you are building the best end colony. Uh, many ways to score points. I mean, it's always the case with Bruno, I guess. A uh, very fun little game. The little ants are adorable. It's coming from someone that is terrified of insects. So <laughs> it means something. <laughs> Moo, mao, mo, mo. Game I discovered recently because I thought it would be interesting. I love Six Nymphed, which is a game that is like similar. You don't want to eat the line. You don't want to take the, the hand uh, to take negative points. Not bad, very chaotic. I like it. Uh, maybe something like that. Well, you didn't like it? <laughs> you put like the lightest card game ahead of half the other games. And so what? Uh. I enjoy it. I enjoy light games. I mean, it's completely stupid as a game, but I love it. And I like the, I mean, the black cows, like they have different powers. It's very, very fun. Mr. Jack in New York, I've not played. Uh, I've played the, the other two. I'm going to start with Mr. Jack because that's the, the OG as well. Mr. Jack, I really liked it. I played it twice. I've played it on, on both sides. I've played uh, as Jack and as uh, the detective. Basically, it's an asymmetric uh, two-player game where you are trying to, I mean, for Jack to escape escape London and for the detective to find Jack before he escapes. I really liked it. I thought it was very smart in the way there's the lights and if you're visible or not for Jack. So where does that go? I think there. I'm going to change stuff. I feel like there's so many things in B <laughs> and there's nothing in CD. <laughs> Mr. Jack Pocket, we've played it once and Sam hated it. So I've never played it ever again, but I liked it. It's similar to Mr. Jack, but I think less good. Uh, Mr. Jack has an actual board. Uh, Mr. Jack Pocket is like little tiles on a grid and you flip them. I think it was less good. So maybe beginning of C. Oh, actually, I think I prefer insert. Yeah, maybe like that. Are you appealing to me? No, no. I, <laughs> I just want to see your reaction though. You don't look happy about it's, it. It's your list. This, I, is, this is completely your list. I know. I'm aware. I'm aware. Uh, Nicodemus, I have played the tutorial of that game and I hated it. <laughs> wow. What a way to judge a game based on the tutorial. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I mean, it means that I kind of played the game and I, I could tell that I didn't like it. But anyway, uh, it's based on uh, Imaginarium, actually. It's a two-player version of Imaginarium. I felt like it was very similar, but... I mean, maybe I was overwhelmed, I don't know, but I felt like there were too many things added like like a big big potion and they mixed everything together and that's why I didn't enjoy it maybe I don't think you can rate it based on the tutorial alone that's possible you're right but I, I, I feel like after I've been I've been playing so many games now I know what I like and I know what I don't as opposed to when you start the hobby you know you're like oh I'm gonna buy everything that's not new and shiny and then uh, you realize you don't like one kind of game some people don't realize that Noah uh, we've played a few times with our friend I really like Liked it. I think Sam hated it. I think it's a kids game and you're trying to build Noah's Ark by putting animals on different locations and you're trying to match like uh, genders like you know male female of a, a certain kind of animal. I, I did like it. Well it's either there or, or there. I'm not sure yet. I like it so let's put it at the bottom. Oh my brain uh, it's uh, like a Uno kind of game. You are trying to empty your hand of all the cards you have in your hand and in your symmetry. You know, at the beginning of the game, you have a few cards added to your symmetry and you're trying to ditch these as well. You're trying to play cards that are higher than the value in the middle of the table. So I guess it's a bit better than Uno, but probably something like uh, that. Oricalc, uh, ori, or, or, oricalcum. <laughs> It's the a fake legendary metal and uh, I think it's one of his newer games uh, Maybe like last year or this year, I forget. I've not played it. I watched a two hour long playthrough of it you, It's a race of whoever reaches uh, five oricalcum coins first. Uh, very interesting actually uh, You are drafting a card that has an action on it and also a tile on it So you have to place the tile and do the action that is on the card. I think it's okay um, I think maybe something like the Queen Domino. All right, Queen Domino, based on the King Domino um, universe. <laughs> I think I like it, but way less than King Domino and King Domino Origins. It's, it takes a bit too long for what it does because it introduces a new biome, which is the city tiles. And basically, you always have to wait to know... Uh, are you building this turn? Are you not? And blah, blah, blah. I think it takes too long. Uh, it's okay though. I think it probably goes like there. And you can also merge this box with King Domino and play like a massive kingdom, which is pretty cool. I'm just glad you put it ahead of Mo. Sea Salt and Paper. Very nice little game. Little card game, actually. Also by Theo Rivia, who has made a lot of uh, kids games. Draftosaurus, man. Yes, that's him too. I think I like it, but I think it takes a bit too long because to win you need to be a certain threshold of points and it's different based on the amount of players obviously but you don't score many points per round so I feel it takes a long time maybe it goes there no I think it goes there Shadows of a Camelot um, that's a game I dream to play one day but I can't because it's out of print and it's so expensive I think I would really really enjoy it so you are all working together to complete missions uh, it's based on uh, the Arthurian legends uh, you know like a King Arthur and stuff yeah, Camelot yeah Camelot exactly Exactly. But to win, the, the good guys have to uh, have a certain amount of white uh, swords around the table. Uh, but uh, they, they could be, or they could not be as well, a bad guy. It's like dealt randomly. You could all, very well all be working together and there's no one that is trying to ruin the game. Or they could be like some sneaky little man. And I think I wouldn't mind that game at all. <laughs> I don't think it would be a game for you though. I'm not sure. I don't think you could keep a poker face if you were the bad guy. Probably not. Not me, but <laughs> I still think I would like the game. <laughs> Sobek 2 players and Sobek. I think I'm starting with Sobek. Sobek is one of his first games ever actually. Uh, well, we can't see the title because the box is so vertical, but anyway. I didn't really like it and there's corruption in it, which is weird because I don't, didn't really like it. But anyway, I think I think it would go somewhere there. I think it's okay, but I felt a bit too frustrated in the way that the corp person like was losing so many points or something like that. And so back to players, that however, I love, 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 love. I think it goes somewhere like there. Wow. I know there's like a massive gap there. I didn't think the games were that different. What do you mean? This game is great. There's like the um, the the board where you move the ank in a certain direction and you force your opponent to uh, take tiles he doesn't want and stuff. 
as opposed to uh, in Sobek where it's like cards, in, like a queue of cards. You remember that? I think this one is great. I love also that uh, you do multiplication. So if you enhance your multiplier, then uh, you have more points, obviously. And I like that you force players to take tiles. I think it's a mean game, but I don't think it's as mean as Butterfly, which I don't like. But you can see a, a theme there. It's all, all games that are in the desert. And underwater. <laughs> but there's one underwater, but so it means there's sand. Splendor Duel, I've not played, but I've watched uh, many videos and I think I would love it. I'm not very big on the base Splendor. I feel it's a bit eh. Also, I don't find the game very pretty, in my opinion. And for me, it's important for a game to be very pretty. Maybe it's a bit superficial, but it's important mm. to me. Basic Splendor is not very pretty and the box is massive and there's nothing in it. So I think it's a big waste of space. Who designed Splendor? Uh, it's uh, Marc Andre and uh, I mean Marc Andre and uh, Splendid Duel is Marc Andre and Bruno Catella. This one though, very different. I mean, obviously you still have the gems and stuff <laughs> and the lords and whatever. There's three ways to score to to win, and uh, the way you you take the gems is very cool. I think uh, they're placed in the center of the board on a grid, and you can only take up to three in a row, like uh, in a diagonal or whatever. I would probably really love it. So probably some some somewhere like there. What the, the, this I think I would love better. Trek 12. All right, Trek 12. Very, very good game. Uh, whew, where does that go? I think... Why I keep seeing your head in my peripheral vision? It's like... Uh, Trek 12 is a very good roll and ride game. Uh, I think probably here. Uh, you roll two dice uh, and you have to pick a combination, like an, you know, uh, some uh, subtraction and stuff. And you have to place that uh, result on your board and you're trying to score the most points. Very good, good game. Very quick as well, which is something I like because I don't like when it takes forever. Yeah, my time. Never played this game, but uh, I've watched so many videos because in my opinion, it was like when I saw the game, I was like, oh, that's going to be five tribes, but in Asia. You are trying to like, you know, uh, collect uh, stuff to score points and uh, please uh, Queen Imiko or whatever her name is. Uh, interesting. I don't think it's as good as five tribes though. I don't know if I would enjoy it that much. The game is very colorful. I did read a lot about how it's not colorblind friendly, so it loses points. It's very important for me that a uh, game is accessible to people. That's why uh, I can't uh, support Century at all. And I think that's rather it. So now let's, let's do some changes. All right. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, put more down. <laughs> Yeah, Mo was a bit too enthusiastic. I agree. I think my Mr. Jack as well, actually. Maybe maybe that goes down. That goes down. Uh, I think there. I think I would like Oricalco more than uh, than Lumen, to be very honest. There. Micropolis, I like the way it is. I think it's a decent game. It's very good. I'm not like super crazy about it, but I really like it though. Uh, Mr. Jack, maybe it's a bit too high. Thing like that, I think. For S. Okay, S, I need to do some changes, I think. I think King Domino deserves to be an S. Oh my god, that's gonna be so controversial. I think I prefer Ishtar to Duel. <laughs> You're gonna die in the comments. I know I am, I know I'm aware of that. I think I like King Domino more than Five Tribes, and that's Sobek, that's Sobek, yeah. But I think I like Five Tribes more than Sobek. That, 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 it, it does not move. I'm just saying it right now. <laughs> it's not even Seven Wonders Duel is gonna overtake Abyss. <laughs> that's for sure. Origins I really like. I think, I think this is fair. I think maybe, maybe Trek 12. Like one step ahead. It's a quick game, so it's got bonus points for that. And there, oh, that C is, oh, it's messy as. Okay. Uh, actually, I'll do that. Yeah, that looks a bit better now. I feel bad for Insert, to be honest. I think it's a very good game. I don't want it in C, but I mean, it's not just I don't like abstract strategy most of the time. Yeah, that's my list. What do you think? Could spend about 20 minutes on this list and still not be able to fix it up in time. Fair enough. <laughs> Actually, the one I'm most disappointed about is Micropolis. Really? The amount of times this comes to the table because it can play at six players is makes mm. it at least A tier. Mm. And it's a very solid underrated game. Yes, it's underrated. I and you've, you've just continued to underrate it. No, I think B is very good. It's at the beginning of B. It's very good. It's one of his better games. And what's your favorite game of him? It's either King Domino or Trek 12. Oh, Trek 12. I did not expect it to be like one of your favorites. I mean, I know you like it a lot. I just thought you would like, you know, that or that better. Interesting. Uh, this would be A tier. Mm, interesting. Where does Five Tribes go? Five Tribes would be number three or four. Oh, nice, nice. 
Well, that was my tier list. I'm sorry if I disappointed many of you. I'm aware my tastes in games are very controversial. <laughs> I'm sorry about it. If you have any recommendations on games I have not played, I'll be glad to hear them, actually. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.